As organizations across the globe continue to adopt cloud solutions and services, Africa is not left out as the continent's ICT landscape is now witnessing increased adoption of cloud services. This week, we bring you some of the multinationals driving this growth across the continent. Yeah, cloud computing is a new technology that has been around with us for a while, but I think has just taken, uh, I would say, commercial acceptance in the ICT industry, the banking industry, the fast-moving and consumable goods industry, and other verticals that require low-cost computing. Um, I like to use analogies. So, for instance, you walk into a bank, you use the ATM machine. If you don't walk into a bank, you may do online banking. Both the ATM machine and the online banking are using CPU processing in the back office. But you never get to see the back office, whether you use the ATM or you're doing online banking. That resource is now located in the cloud as opposed to in the bottom of a backroom office of a bank. We'll begin with Dimension Data, a South African IT company. Its service portfolio includes a range of cloud services covering the public and private cloud, as well as a cloud readiness component and relevant architecture. Dimension Data uh, has in the past been focused in public sector and recent, with our recent wins in Lagos State, we've decided to start to come into the, uh, the other states outside of Lagos, and we believe that this is a good exposure for us. And let me tell you this way, outside of South Africa, the dimension that the Middle East and Africa group is looking at Nigeria, specifically West Africa, to be the second biggest uh, contributor to our revenue. We've done a lot of projects around the world by doing what we call smart city projects, you know in Cape Town, in Johannesburg, in Rwanda, you know, just to mention Africa, you know. We've done a lot of smart city projects. Smart city projects is about governments having um, all their ICT solutions in a kind of a platform, which we should call cloud. You know, we call it computer as a service, which enable the government to deliver services to the people more efficiently, you know, at a, at a uh, reduced cost. The company is able to accommodate customers who want to invest in the cloud immediately, providing pricing, overview, service level agreement details, as well as support. Uh, IS in Nigeria is five years old. Um, uh, that's that's the, the history at the moment. What we brought to Nigeria is essentially an ability to connect all the multinational corporations um, and also the uh, large number of banking um, banks. Uh, those that are sitting in the financial sectors as well as the insurance companies. We also reached out to some of the large conglomerates and corporates of Nigerian businesses as well. Okay. And they sit across not only our data center products, but also our VSAT and terrestrial connections. IBM Southern and Central Africa is next. The organization is focused on the creation, development and manufacture of computer systems, software, network systems, storage devices and microelectronics. IBM says cloud computing is a core focus and a smart cloud solutions offering its position to address the needs of the market, both at enterprise and small to medium enterprise level. From there, we'll take you to Ghana, where the National Communication Authority, NCA, is considering the possibility of policy enforcement to safeguard service quality and delivery in domestic roaming. Local media reports that NCA, in a press statement, said it will be compelled to enforce a domestic roaming policy if mobile operators are not able to improve on their quality of service delivery. Adding that the country's communication minister directed the regulator to intensify quality of service tests and make results public. There is growing concern that the country's mobile phone industry is growing at a pace that will render it untenable, as it recently saw a drop in its mobile subscription base. Efforts are split over whether an enforcement of roaming fees will improve services, 
as sanctions have not proven to be the solution to poor quality of income service in the sub-region. We moved to Kenya where the president is talking ICT. President Uhuru Kenyatta has revealed that Kenya will be establishing more ICT hubs in the country, which will drive the economy and propel Kenya's technology to a wider audience across the world. Kenyatta added that the new ICT hubs will be created through the new Biashara Kenya Agency, which will serve as an incubation hub. In his words, my government plans to position Kenya as a business process outsourcing hub through establishment of Konza Techno City. This will provide employment opportunities specifically to the youth who will work in software development, light, electronic, manufacturing industries and IT enabled services. To the Kenyan president, making Kenya Africa's technology hub is his government's top priority. That's it on Saba Africa this week and thanks to SAP for the ride. For more information and reports, please watch us on youtube.com slash Africa TV. And now back to the Kakaki Studio. Bye for now.